today we're going to be looking at the results for Victory Road Road to Yokohama. Now, over the weekend, Victory Road held a 382-player tournament that went over the span of two days. This is basically in preparation for the World Championships. Now, this was nine rounds of Swiss into X2 cut, so basically you had to go at least seven and two to make the top cut. And there were some pretty interesting results coming out of the tournament. Now, we'll scroll down here. Actually, ooh, ooh, we'll um ah stuff. We'll just look at all the teams once here. So. Interesting enough, there was a big, big trend we noticed in the top 16 here. So you guys, yeah, you can see the top 16 there. Um, first thing I'm going to say is, look, I, I've been praising it basically ever since this format dropped. I've been saying for a hot minute, Fluttermane's still the best Pokemon in the game. And if you look in this column right here, in the top 16, in this case, top 17, because that's where we're stopping, you see 16 Fluttermane's in the top 17. Um, only one team basically uh, was in the top 16 without Fluttermane, which is kind of insane but there is another big trend i also noticed and that is you'll notice here with the top three teams cresselia 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 was a very very um i don't want to say it was a controversial pokemon but a lot of people were saying basically cresselia ursaluna wasn't all that and i think it was because people you know I, I believe i mentioned it actually when i did my tier list um or my top cores i forget which one it was but i, I kind of mentioned like hey i think people are sleeping on like cresselia and ursaluna um you know, I just don't think hard trick room is the play, but I do think these hybrid trick rooms were a lot better than, um, you know, the, the the hard trick rooms, right? Like, I think trick room was still fine. It's just you had to play it correctly. Um, and you see here, there was two Ursalunas in the top four, which is kind of crazy considering everyone's been laughing at this mod saying it's bad. Um, another mod as well, I kind of used it in a, a thumbnail the other day, but I said Iron Hands is one of the most slept on Pokemon right now. You see it here, two of the top four. We see another one here in the top eight. There's, what, four Iron Hands in the top eight. This mod is, it's on the rise, but... First of all, we'll just take a look at this. Um, hopefully this appears. Yeah, ah, it's kind of missing the top. That's fine. You can see the Rillaboom and whatnot. But so um, Assault Vest, Terrifier, Rillaboom, that's fine. That's pretty standard. Um, an interesting adaptation as well I have been seeing is this here, the Safety Goggles, Rillaboom. Sorry, Rillaboom, um, Urshifu. So this is something that's been picking up a lot basically just because obviously Amoongus is right now running around with the other uh, Rocky Helmets and it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So being able to dodge that is fantastic. Uh, and then another adaptation as well we're seeing on this team, and this is something, again, a lot of people are starting to pick up on, is actually the Rocky Helmet Torn. And the main reason for that is you can actually build this thing to be bulky enough where I think, I want to say you can live Terra um, Surging Strikes, but you can't live Terra Surging Strikes in rain, but it still takes three shots anyway. So like you're still doing like 50% to the opponent. Chances are you're getting off your Tailwind or your Rain Dance, whatever it is you want to do anyway. So Paired up with like Tailwind into like, say like a Dazzling Gleam coming out of the Flood, I mean, you're still able to pick up the KO on the Urshifu, which is you know, pretty, pretty important. Um, And then also another thing, I don't know if I actually said this in a video, but I know I've been talking to the boys about it and I've been saying for a hot minute now that Flood, I mean, Terra Water is actually, in my opinion, the best Terra on it. And the big reason for that is I think this Mon runs into this big issue where Heatran kind of hard walls it, um, the Golden Go Plus Redirection hard walls it, and then Urshifu just has the ability just to take it out, right? And if you have a look at all of those things, right, the, the heat train is normally hitting you with flash cannon or like heat wave, right? Um, obviously the Rillaboo, sorry, the Urshifu is going to hit you with the, the surging strikes and then Golden Go is hitting you with to make it rain. Cause again, normally it's something like, you know, like both of you have a Moongus's difference is you can only dazzle and gleam. They can make it rain and they're just going to one shot you. So I think Terra Water is a huge adaptation. Um, I, sh I think I've got some stats as well. I can pull up from Twitter as well. Um, it's something like 25% of the flood mains in this event were actually Terra Water, which is kind of crazy to see because I haven't really seen anyone say like Terra Water publicly is going to be good, but obviously a lot of the top players are picking up on it. Um, and then obviously Chien Pao, it's pretty, you know, pretty common set here. It is one of the most used mons. And then the other one, which is really, really interesting is this Cresselia picking up. Now, I don't know how many of these are stored power. I, I know I have seen a couple of stored powers, but the main thing we're looking at here is Calm Mind. I think a lot of people are running this very physically bulky to help out with the Urshifu matchup. And then Calm Mind basically makes up for the lack of special bulk, right? Not to mention, you know, a stab bomb stored power is like pretty strong. And Dazzling Gleam, obviously, you know, if you can get like plus one Gleam, still like really good into a lot of the matter. If you look at a lot of the mons running around, like, you know, the Chianfu, is it Chianfu? <laughs> the Chien Pao, the Urshifu, the D-Knights, like they don't really want to eat these Gleams. So if you ever get like a plus one, plus two Gleam, it can do a lot of damage. Um, and then on this one too, they've dropped Lunar Blessing for Moonlight, which is also really, really interesting because obviously, you know, a lot of people were pairing this up with the Ursa Luna. And the whole idea was like the Ursula Lunar attacks on the Trick Room. You then heal off the burn. They don't take the burn damage, but they still get the burn attack, if you know what I mean. So that is one, I guess, pretty interesting way of running the Cresselia. But then again, we see these three teams here. And this is what I really, really like. This is something that, again, I've personally been looking at a bit. And that is like the kind of hybrid Trick Room with Hands plus Lunar. So 
We see it, you know, two times here. You've got this, you know, Tornadus here. This team doesn't have Tornadus. It's more of like a balanced slash Trick Room team. Uh, but this team is still like really hyper offensive. And again, you start looking at these teams, right? And you see the specs flood main with Terra Water. Again, Terra Water is there. Pretty, um, pretty common heat trend set here. The sub is really good into the Trick Room matchups, which is great. Um, another Terra Grass issue because once again, this mod does not want to deal with the, the Amoongus. Obviously, it has the Focus Sash, which I don't personally love, but it does mean like you don't have to Terra in front of like a Fluttermane because like, you can just like fire up your Surging Strikes, you can eat the Dazzling Gleam, and then the next turn you've got this, you know, this Aqua Jet just sitting there ready to go. Um, pretty common Ursa Luna. I do actually like to see the adaptation of Ice here, uh, sorry, Ice Punch, because obviously Lando is starting to pick up a usage. The Genies don't really appreciate it, so Ice Punch is a pretty cool tech. Um, Earthquake is interesting, especially on this team. Like, if you look at this, Cresselia is the only mod off the ground. Uh, and not to mention, you know, Rillaboom is pretty common and you don't have, like, Indeedy to reset terrain. So that's kind of interesting to me. Um, but Terra Water, again, like, into Shifu is really, really good. So, like, seeing this pickup is pretty cool. Um, my only issue is, like, obviously this mod's already weak to grass, but, like, I guess you're just going to have to play around that. Um, another interesting one, Rocky Helmet, again. Like, Rocky Helmet is, like, necessary on every team. You need a Pokemon that can tank attacks from the, the Rillaboom and just get that free 50% damage on it. Um, and then, again, a pretty common Iron Hands here. The AV Terra Grass is what I'm assuming we'll see quite a lot of. The Terra Grass obviously helps you out into the, the Urshifu, which is kind of sad because I do think this Mon loves something like Terra Fire, but, uh, you know, will Wisp has died down in usage, but I do think we could see it spike up again. Um, but yeah, look, Terra Grass is still good. It helps you out with Shroom. It helps you out with the, the Earthquakes. It helps you out with uh, Urshifu as well. So it's pretty decent and a pretty standard set. It's got Heavy Slam Fake Out, you know. It's what you expect, right? It's pretty common. Um, we take a look at the next team here. It's, again, a pretty common set. Um, surprisingly enough, no Rocky Helmet on this team, which is interesting. Um, another thing, though, I have noticed, um, like, I'll quickly go over this. Like, this is pretty common. Terra Darks to help out with the taunts. Um, Choice Scarf, Urshifu, I do think is one of the better ways to run this mod. It allows you to make sure you've got speed control, um, especially when you pair this up with, like, the Rain Dance um, Tornadus. Like, there are some situations where you don't need Tailwind. You can just go straight for Rain Dance. Um, pretty common he set here, too. Interesting to see the double ground. Like, Again, we see this EQ, which is like fine with these two mons, but it is really interesting to see people running Earthquake over a coverage move. Um, pretty common Cresselia here. It's got the goggles, obviously, to help out with the Shroom. Um, and then this set here is kind of interesting because like, obviously you see, you know, four pretty common moves. They have dropped Taunt, which to me is really interesting. I've considered dropping Taunt myself, but it feels too good, especially like in open team sheet when you know, like, say they have something like Taunt plus Shroom, only one of them can have the Mental Herb, right? Um, pretty common moves here, but then the interesting one is the Terra Flying. Now, I would have to do the calcs on this, but everyone is running pretty, um, pretty physically defensive Amoonguses, just because, like, you know, most of the meta right now is, like, physical offense. Um, so Terra Flying is really, really interesting. Like, I I'd have to check the calc on that, but Terra Flying Bleak Wind Storm with, like, a bit of special attack investment, especially on a set like this that is running Protect, could be really, really crazy. But look, we'll, we'll, we won't go through every team here because, again, I'm pretty sure a lot of these are going to be pretty standard. Um, This team here is actually really cool. You see Frigograph plus Dragapult. I'll quickly just check in on this. Rocky Helmet with Trick Room in Prison is really cool. Terra Water, obviously, you know, we've been through it. It helps out with the Shifu. Um, but then the Banded, you know, Terra Ghost is... It, it's really cool. Like, I'm a huge fan of Dragapult, and I think pairing it up with Chien Pao is, like, kind of sick. Um, I do worry about this team's lack of, like, speed control. Obviously, not having Tailwind, but... You know, I, I'd, I'd be really curious to see how they play matchups against Tailwind. Because I guess, like, Mons, like, Frigger off with the, the potential Trick Room and then just, like, letting your hands and your Heat Train, like, sweep through was really cool. Um, but yeah, I did want to note Dragapult getting a top 8 result is really cool. And same with Frigger Getting this high up is, like, really cool. I do think the, the Psychic Stab is actually really underrated right now because a lot of people aren't running, like, that many Dark Types. Or at least it's not as prevalent as it once was. Um, and you think about it, Urshifu, like, they tend to, like, always run Sucker Punch, which is interesting because this guy actually has Crunch. Um, but yeah, seeing Sucker Punch, uh, like, against this mod, like, you just don't care about it, yeah? But now, we're gonna talk about the thing that scares me the most. There's a Dondozo right here in the top 8. There's another Dondozo here at 9, and there's another Dondozo here at 16. Three Dondozos all in the top 16, and I believe they're all the exact same team, is it? Yeah, what's that? Like, Glim, Glim. Okay, this one's got Glim plus the Flutterfish. Uh, this one always has also has Glim Flutterfish. So, like, Glim Flutterfish plus, like, Shifu um, seems to be the call on two of these teams. And then the other one... God, this is distracting. The other one had... Wait, are they, are they all Flutterfish? Okay, so this one's not Flutterfish. This one's Torn. This one's Torn. Okay. I, I do think I like this one more, which is funny enough, because uh, technically, actually, these guys were both um, top 16. This one was the only one who made it further. 
But yes, we're seeing a rise in the uh, Dondoza Tatsugiri once again, which is kind of scary. Um, we'll see here. This is a lefty's Terra Grass set. I do think Terra Grass is probably going to be the best set. Um, seeing the order up picking up as well is kind of interesting. Um, I just want to quickly check them all. Are they all running like the exact same almost? Uh, Rocky Helmet here again. We see that. Lefties here with Terra Grass. That's kind of cool. Um, choice Specs plus... Oh, Focus Sash is interesting. Especially because they had a booster free. Um, I guess Sash is still nice though, right? Uh, and then what was the last one here? Uh, okay. So this one's booster. So, okay. They actually are three completely different teams. Also, oh, this is also Dark Shifu. Very interesting. Um, similar set here though. This is Grass again with the, um, the Wave Crash order up. Yeah, look, seeing this Mon rise up again is scary, especially when they're all paired with Glamora, dude. Like, it, it makes for these really weird endgames. Not, not to mention as well, I think a really underestimated thing about Glamora right now is people forget Glamora actually hits really hard. Like, this Mon has an absurd attack, like, special attack stat. Power Gem's also, like, super good into the metagame. I'm um, really curious to see the Dazzling Gleam here, but I guess it hits a few things. Spiky Shield is also pretty scary, so seeing the rise in Dondozo is actually... um. It, it's pretty spooky to see, I'm not going to lie, but I mean, guys, you, you look at this, yeah, it's like, again, you look at this top 16, we see all these Flutter mains, we see a lot of Urshifus again, like, how many Urshifus is that in the top 16? That's like, who, uh, it's like, I think I counted 10, um, obviously some of them are dark and some of them aren't, it's, you know, it, um, if I had to guess, it's probably like 9 and 1, like 9 uh, Rapid Strikes, maybe 8 Rapid Strikes, um, I'd like to see a better breakdown, we see a good chunk of Heat Trend 2 here, like, Ursa Luna, man, like, getting 3 top, um, Top 16s is pretty cool as well. This team here, actually, this is a team I'm going to showcase because I actually, I might do a video on this soon. Um, but it is actually Charizard Sun. Now, this is really interesting because this is probably the only set I personally thought Charizard could run, right? If you look at it, I think it has to run Scarf with Solar Power. Um, and this team just does a fantastic job of it. You kind of have this hybrid Trick Room plus like Aggro Sun, right? Like obviously you don't have the the luxury of running a, um, of running like a Tailwind setter. But at the same time, like, Hisuian Lilligant in the sun is, like, pretty damn quick. With After You, you can, like, definitely go first. And you got things like Sleep Powder and whatnot. It's it's a pretty cool tech. But, yeah, this is, like, really cool. You see the Choice Specs Torkoal in the sun is, like, crazy. Psy Spam is another thing here as well. Actually, is that is like, any Psy Spam? Let's have a look here. Um, Psy Spam, Psy Spam, Psy Spam. Is that the... Dude, that's actually the only Psy Spam in top 18. Sorry, top 16, which is actually kind of crazy. Do we see it any further down? We see, like, another Rain Team here. Um, more Ursa Lunas, more Sun. This is like a like another Sun Room variant. Uh, do we see them? Two, two of these. Okay, so here's two more Indeedies. Two Indeedies without Amaru's though, actually. I, I do think Indeedee is really cool. I've been playing a bit of Indeedee myself. But yeah, wow. Okay, top 32 and there's only one Psy Spam. Actually, no, here. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Two Psy Spam. My mouse is literally on it. But yeah, couple Psy Spams. Psy Spam definitely picking up, which is kind of... I was about to say it's kind of cool. It's it's nice to see it making a resurgence, um, especially because I do think it is pretty good into the Shifus. But obviously, Psy Spam is kind of crazy. Um, Wolfie also got top 16. I actually did get to catch some of his games um, earlier today. Um, he was running a pretty standard hyper-offensive team. Um, I do really like Citrus um, Torn. I think Citrus Torn is like, cool because it allows you to uh, live some Shifus. Right? I, 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 do, I have seen his spreads... Um, he doesn't have that much defensive... In I don't think he has any defensive investment, actually. It's just, like, a lot of HP, but I'm pretty sure, like, unless they're, like, Terra in rain, they're not actually going to pick you up, which is cool. Um, and that, that is, like, the one beauty of, like, Citrus into to Shifu. It does, like, allow you just to, like, you know, tank those Surging Strikes. But, look, a pretty common set here. Again, we see this Iron Hands. The AV Terra Grass, dude, like, I'm telling you guys right now, like, these two, I think, are going to be, like, insane. Um, actually, this is very similar to the team I'm working on right now. Uh, uh, I'll give you guys a bit of a sneak peek. Basically, the only difference is I, I have Shroom in this slot. I'm not sure if I'll make a video on it, just because, like, I'm still working on it. Um, but yeah, like, Hyper Offense right now is, like, pretty damn cool. Um, it's just, it's just a fantastic core. But yeah, guys, look, that's, that's basically what we saw today. Like, there's a, there's a lot of, I want to say there's a, a few interesting things, right? Like, again, Flutter Mains everywhere. I think that one's good. Rillaboom's everywhere. Um, Ursh uh, sorry, Rillaboom's not everywhere. Urshifu's everywhere. We got a few Rillas, um... I guess the big question right now too is like, do you want Rilla or do you want Shroom? Um, the other thing is like, how good is this like hybrid Trick Room? Like, is it is it worth slapping hybrid Trick Room on teams? Like, especially like if you run these three pairing with like three offensive mons, it's um, yeah, it's a pretty pretty scary core. But yeah, guys, that's probably gonna be it today. Uh, I'm just curious, what do you guys think of like the not so much the lack of Chien Pao, but I'm honestly really surprised with how many teams actually made it this far without like Pao like Pao Nut Shifu like. 
you have a look here no power no power like obviously a few powers here no power here no power here no power here um no power here no power here like I, like obviously you know there's still a good chunk of you know champ power don't get me wrong there's like eight of them in the top uh top 16 so it's like clearly still a really good mon um but yeah, i'm just curious to see, you know know what you guys think here because like again like lando as well as another mon that's not here as much as i thought it would be uh, but anyway, guys, I, I, I've been rambling on long enough. Um, you know, let me know what you think of this tournament. Um, obviously, let me know if you're excited for next weekend. I'm super excited to see what everyone pulls out at the, uh, what is it, the Nino Tour, I think. Nino's got a tour next weekend as well, which is pretty damn cool. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think is going to come out there. I reckon we're going to see a lot more Iron Hands personally. Um, and I think a little bit more Psy Spam too could definitely, uh, could definitely show up. But anyway, guys, I've been talking long enough. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.